Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to bake brownies out of the clothes in the kitchen book, and but I'm only allowed to use a one-half teaspoon and a one-fourth cup. My ingredients will be Hershey's cocoa powder, baking soda, vegetable oil, boiling water, which is in the other side of the kitchen, sugar, eggs, flour, and vanilla extract. Okay, before the mixing, I'll need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'll need to boil the water because that's one of the ingredients. Now I'll put three quarters of a cup of Hershey's cocoa powder right here, but I only have a one fourth cup measuring tool. So on the clipboard right here, I'll need to fill it three times because one fourth times three equals three-fourths. Now I'll put the baking soda in. I only need a half teaspoon. I already have a half teaspoon measuring tool. Next I'll put the vegetable oil in with the mix and then stir it. But since it would be hard to get the vegetable oil in this small half teaspoon, then I put it in this. I'll need a one third cup of oil and but I only have a half teaspoon and a fourth cup. So what I need to do is translate that. So one cup equals sixteen table or table teaspoons. 16 tablespoons, which equals 48 teaspoons. And, um, but I'm not going to put one cup in, so I'll need a third of the 48 teaspoons. So that equals um, 16. But I only have a half teaspoon, so times 2 equals 32. So I will either have to fill this 32 times or I can do it in an easier way since um, since since 48 divided by 4 equals 12 that will be 12 of those 16 teaspoons because 12 is less than 16 and I will need 16 teaspoons. So I'll fill this up once and then I will fill these, the, um, fill the, put the oil in the half teaspoon spot eight times because it's a half a teaspoon not a full one. There's the one fourth cup. Then I need eight of these. So one, two, seven, 
8. Now I will need to mix it until it is smooth. Now I need to add a half cup of the boiling water, but I only have a fourth cup measuring tool, so... I'll have to fill it twice because one-fourth times two equals two-fourths, which also, if you simplify it, equals one-half. So according to the recipe, with the boiling water in here and the mix, I'll have to st um, stir it until it thickens. So I'll need one more third of the oil, which I already did that, or I already added it earlier. So I'll have to fill the one fourth cup once and the one half teaspoon eight times. Now I'll put the sugar in the mix. I put it in here so it would be easier to pour though. And I'll need um, two cups of sugar. So um, I only have a fourth cup, but So I'll fill it eight times because one fourth times eight equals eight fourths, and eight fourths is also equal to two. So eight. Now I'm gonna do the eggs. I need two eggs. I have to be careful not to get any part of the shell in here. Okay, now I will need to stir this mix, which is really hard. I'm gonna, you know, do you want to do this? Here. Just mix it thoroughly until it's smooth. Yeah, I think that's good. Now I'll add the flour. It's one and one third. So for um, the one, so for the one cup, I'll do. Uh, I'll have to fill the one fourth cup four times because one fourth times four equals four fourths, which is also equal to one. But that's only one cup. I'll have to add one third after this. So. Four. Okay. Now I still need a one third cup of flour. So for a one third cup, I'd already done that on the... Oil? Oil twice. So I fill this one up one time and fill this one up eight times. Next, I'll add the vanilla extract. I need one teaspoon of that, but I only have a half teaspoon measuring tool, so one half times two equals two over two, which is equal to one. So I'll fill it 
two times with vanilla extract. Now I'll mix this until it completely blends together as one ingredient. Okay, that looks good. Now, um, it says there should be no lumps. There's no lumps. So I will have to well, it says mix in the nuts, but I'm not going to use any nuts. And so I'll pour this into the greased baking pan. Okay, there we go. This is heavy. So I'm going to, I'm spreading this along here so now we're ready to put it in the oven it's already ready but preheated so. not oh, to drop it is that good mm -hmm. close it Now I'll set a timer for 30 to 45 minutes. 35. Okay, so out of all this mess, I think it's going to come out pretty good. I got this out of Clueless in the Kitchen by Evelyn Rath. 